vlog. Andy and I are gonna go to Ikea. I mentioned in my last video that my mum gave me permission to get started on a little project. So I'm gonna remake our spare room. It's looking very bare. Just need to do a bit of something pretty and I wanted a bigger open space that I can do some my workouts, hurry my dance, cause right now I do it in my tiny little Excuse my floor, it needs vacuuming. But I just do it in this little space here, which isn't very effective. <laughs> Honestly, this was a total junk room of our house. So I'm gonna make it pretty. Yeah. So it'll basically stay like this layer. Look at my door. This is my door when I was like 10 years old. I covered it in stickers. Have you ever seen so many? And I've been on at my dad for so long about getting new doors because I have the same door in my room. But it should be doors like that. And it's not. Dad, yes, I'm talking to you. This cupboard here, we're going to keep, do some more frames for the um, door. So we'll take the doors off and he'll do frames that will go from the top all the way with like a a frame in the middle as well. We're gonna rip that wood bit off the top and rip that little, that panel off there. And I'm gonna get some rattan webbing, which is so hard to find, can I say? And we're gonna, I'll sheet between the panels and paint it all. And then we're gonna get rid of that. I've got some shells that I'm gonna put there and then a chair, some flowers. And yeah. Thought I was gonna do like a specific vlog for just that, but I just thought, I'm one of those people that if I get an idea, I struggle to just do it. I'm like a real perfectionist in that way and it's not a good thing at all, I don't think. I will overthink it and try and make it so perfect that I just, I won't do it. So I just, I'm really trying to strip this back and I'm one of those people too that if I start something, I will not stop until it's finished and it's so unhealthy. I made the decision that I was gonna do it and I'm not even kidding you, I spent the whole day researching furniture and I just found myself getting so worked up. It was just ridiculous. It was something that originally when I first thought of, I was like, oh, that would be so fun. Like I love decorating and I could film it. Oh, I just got so overwhelmed and I just thought that's just silly because that's not what I wanted it to be. So yeah, you might see little snippets here and there in certain vlogs. We're definitely going to Ikea this Thursday, Andy and I. So I'll bring you along then and I'll take you through anything that I get up to. I've already stripped it back as much as I can at the moment. There's still a few things that I need to empty out, but I'll do that a bit later. I'm gonna do a bit of a workout in here, test out the space. So it's not heaps, but it's definitely more than I have in my room. I'm, I was gonna get dressed and do a workout and film that as a hello. But I'm currently, I'm in the weirdest combination of clothes. I've got a nightie, my Nike jumper and my Ugg boots. So it's a little bit strange. Um, but yeah, I'm dying for a cup of tea and the morning looks beautiful out there. So I'm gonna make a tea and go and sit out there for a little bit and enjoy because why not? I'm gonna have a tea. I think I'm gonna have some breakfast too because I'm kind of hungry. Yeah, it's, it's 10 to 11. But I need to have some breakfast. 10 guesses for what I'm gonna have. I'm gonna say that as pancakes. On that note about perfectionism too, I really wanted to chat about it a bit more because it's honestly, I think above all, like obviously I've grown with confidence and all sorts of things, but I think the underlying thing about all of that is obsession with perfectionism and I've only just sort of discovered it but it's a huge limiting belief you know it worries me that 
like how much of my life have I stalled or just sort of abandoned because the thought of failing and not being adequate and putting myself out there showing that I'm trying seems so much scarier than the potential result which is a shame because it's not even about the result you know I'm a creative I love the process even though it overwhelms me sometimes but I'm working on that you know like this would have scared the crap out of me you know we've got bird seed and everything <laughs> on our table and the house is a mess six months ago there's no way in hell I would get my camera out and film me in a nightie a sports jumper and Ugg boots <laughs> You know, at 11 o'clock, I haven't had breakfast yet or anything because the idea of that scared me. And I just thought, what's nobody would want to see that. Nobody. But the thing is, every that's life. Everyone has that. People say it all the time that Instagram's just a highlight reel, and it's so true. I love taking pretty photos and, and posting them, but I wanted something more to give people more than just that let people see the ins and outs because that's that's real life and that's where the amazing moments happen days like this you know when you're comfy and your family's home and the house is a mess and you're you're a mess <laughs> but that's that's life and i want to start embracing that and using that as my power because that that is our power i've said it before our flaws are a magic and i'm here to show them this spare room project is, yes, it's a reno project, but it's also a perfectionism project because I am not going to let that overwhelm me. Honestly, I nearly threw in the towel last night because, you know, the price of it all and the weight of it all was going to be too much for my mind when I'm trying to do so many other things. But then I realized the reason I'm feeling so overwhelmed is that I'm complicating it by just dramatizing it in my head and it doesn't need to be like that. I'm just going to take it as it comes do little bits at a time and really focus on enjoying it because that's the best part and that's why I wanted to do it in the first place. It's pancake time! <laughs> Does anybody else watch a, an episode of their favourite show while they cook? Confession here, my show of choice is Home and Away. <laughs> Please let me know if I'm the only one because I've met select few that shares in my love for Home and Away so there's got to be more out there. <laughs> Let me know. All right, first purchase. They are the one on the far left. Brushed brass. Little, I've got two for the cupboard. Little two handles. They are on their way. Oh my gosh, I am a sweaty mess. So I was gonna do a workout and I will still maybe a bit later. But I just spent the last couple of hours just, oh, oh God. Doing a bit of, um. Corey and I filmed just a little set for Instagram. I want to do part of, speaking of, um, oh, by the way, I cleaned out these cupboards so I have a bit more room to move. Oh, I need to sit down, give me a second. Yeah, so a part of this whole making imperfect action, I wanted to do, obviously, dance is a huge part of my life and my big passion. So I wanted to do just a weekly fun dance just on Instagram. In my mind, I would like hear a song and go, oh, I'd love to dance to that. And then I would start crying and then go, oh, I could film it here or I could wear this. And it just turns into this huge concept that just never happens because I think I can't just post the choreo because that's not good enough kind of thing. That, that would never be perfect. And then I just, I won't choreograph anything because then I know that the spiral that I'm gonna go into. I, oh my God, my makeup, I'm sweating it off. Yeah, I wanted to just try and beat that mindset a little bit more again and just have a bit of fun, you know? I'll do a weekly Instagram story dance and that's that. So yeah, I did that. It took way longer than I thought because I got really into it and I've been sweating my butt off in this room. I was filming it too and one take I did, I had to, I had to put the fan on because I was actually dripping and I jumped and flew, flew my hand up and hit my finger on the fan. <laughs> so that was fun. I have to do some more curry for, I'm teaching tonight over Zoom. So I have to do some contemporary curry for that. So that will take me a little while and we're gonna try and go out and get some photos this afternoon because it's a really pretty day. So yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to film a workout. Maybe I'll do it. I might be able to do it tonight after teaching. Depends if I'm tired. Alrighty, so we got back from taking some photos 
and now I'm just setting up to get ready to do a quick class. Don't even know what I'm gonna teach yet. I'm still gonna have to quick up, like wake up, whip up a bit. <laughs> I think I'm a bit tired. I'm gonna have to whip up a bit of curry quickly before we start. I think I've got like half an hour, so I'm gonna have to be a speedy. Andy and I are off to Ikea today. We're gonna get some furniture for the spare room. I have to call him because I don't actually know which Ikea we're going to. I had this huge plan for today and it's all gone messed up, but hey. Hello. Hello. Um, I'm just leaving, <laughs> 10 minutes late. Um, what, which Ikea is it? Okay, I'll leave now and so I can get there in time. Yeah, no worries. I'll see you then. Okay, bye. Bye. So, today, oh my god! Oh my gosh! So today, I had this huge plan to go down to the beach. It's probably like 20 minutes away, and take some photos, do a workout, go for a walk. And I woke up and it was pouring with rain, so I was like. Okay, that's cool. That's not gonna happen. I was gonna wake up early. I slept until quarter past ten. <laughs> I heard the rain early in the morning and I was like, no, I'm not getting up. I'm sleeping in. So, yes, I slept in. Regretful, but hey, I must have needed it. I'm so late, so I really need to go. I'm at home right now and then I'm gonna go meet him there and then we'll drive back to his house and I'll stay the night and then come home in the morning. So yes, I've got to go. We're on the way. Oh my goodness, what a stressful afternoon. Time just got away from me. I did a quick workout, which I'm gonna film tomorrow. I think the last time I spoke to you, I was, I was just about to teach. So that was Tuesday and I said, oh, I might do a workout that night. Yeah, it didn't happen. <laughs> but to be fair, I had dance pretty much the whole afternoon and I was wrecked. So yesterday was Wednesday. I literally sat down on my computer all day editing. <laughs> so I didn't really do very much to film. So I didn't really worry about getting the camera out. I did do a quick workout. It's like probably half an hour, a bit of hit before I knew it. I was literally in bed at midnight and I think that's why I slept in so late today. I'm back today, <laughs> um, eventually. What time is it? 20 past three. Oh God, I'm gonna be eight minutes late. I cannot decide. So I'm gonna have a big wardrobe that we've already got we're remaking, I think I told you. Then I wanna get like a rattan chair and some wall prints. And I'm tossing up between getting, I can either get like a half shelf and pop like a, an arched mirror on the top, or I can get a full length mirror and like a tall one unit shelf which I think I'm leaning towards because yesterday I did my workout in there last night and I did it in there today and I'm loving the open space and I'm thinking that will take up less room than getting the wider double shelf and also I'd like to have a full length mirror there as well so I think I'm leading towards that, but I'm gonna see it in person and make my mind up then. I can't wait to see Andy. I haven't seen him since the weekend, and it's, what is it, Thursday. Our last year was awful for seeing each other. Like, I was working four jobs all of the time. I would, I'd be lucky to get a full day off. I'd never, ever, ever got two days off in a row. Like, that was, that was unheard of. This year, I'm not working at all with the, with all of this pandemic stuff on and even before I got a new job and I've never had so much time to myself hence why we're here because I need to fill my time in and be creative and and everything but anyway the plus side of all of this is I get to see Andy so much more we would sometimes go two weeks without seeing each other and it was really tough and 
we both agree last year was just a really rough year on both of us. We went through a really rocky stage as well, which wasn't great. And honestly, I think it was just stress, to be honest. But yeah, we're in a really, really good place right now. I love him to bits, so I can't wait to see him. And we're here. Oh, I feel like I've driven into the front entrance. Call Andy to hut. I'm on it. Thanks. He has two hearts next to his name, so I have to say two hearts. Calling Andy two hearts. Yes. Mobile. Hello? Hello. I can't really hear you. <laughs> Not really. Not really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can hear you now. <laughs> I don't know how, but I went down into the lower car park, so I'll come up now. <laughs> okay, no worries. I know you're in the entry. Okay. Alright, same so. Alright, bye! Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh gosh, what are you baby, baby? Oh, that was shocking. I'm gonna redo that a little bit. Let's do this. We are. What's happening? Oh gosh, was I even recording then? Oh, only one. Oh! oh. oh. Is that three dollars? $30 for the cushion. So the half or the full one is there. That's a birdie. The Joe and Croon. Half what? Joe and Croon reckons it's a go. Which, which one? I think the taller one. I think the tall one. I think I like it better anyway. Yeah, it's I cheaper. think so. I really like this. Yeah, I don't like the top as much as I thought I would. Person. Uh, what colours are mind the smaller chip. You could do another swinging chip. <laughs> Favourite. They're fun. Are they? You get to get up in the roof. Mm. Oh, this is a cute mirror. The mirror? Or what's in it? Aww. <laughs> I don't mind this, this smaller chair with the, like a throw in the pillow. Mm. You, you lay got, down here. You, you got your mirror? Up. Do you got your pet bird? Your little cat can probably get on that, a little scratching post. Are we cat people? No, no. we're not blue people either. <laughs> the bars. The bars. We got our basket. Got our woven basket. Yep. Now we're vase shopping. Vase shopping. This is his favourite. It's not a vase. It's a big glit, beer glass. Schooner. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. When the pub's open again. There's like a 60 centimetre tall one. What that looks like. It's pretty bloody tall. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't probably, that tall. Probably hard to miss. <laughs> ah. The big dog. The hall of heaven. <laughs> now we get to spend ages trying to find what we're looking for. Make sure I'm we lost. get the right aisle and the right side of the aisle this time. I'm lost already. <laughs> Got the last chair in stock. Got a cheaper, got a trolley. Love it, love it, love it. I really don't think that a trolley's necessary either though. No. No, we don't use big muscles. Is it ground? Uh, yeah, it's only one. <laughs> Gosh, we're on the ball today, aren't we? I'm hungry. You're hungry. Bum, bum. Because I want these photos. <laughs> What's the go with that? Look at them. Look, this is not. There's heaps of them, and I got a, none of them. This is off topic. We're out yeah, of stock here. What are we gonna do? It's not all bad news. No, it's bad news. Not for me. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my gosh! We just came for a chair bedside table. Oh. It's not looking good here. Oh well, we'll just get the bedside table then. Bedside table it is. Okay. How many boxes are it? Oh yeah, it is. Is it green? One box. Woohoo! Well, we got one thing. We've done this before. But just go for it. Honestly. Where's your chair going? Will it fit in there? It's not? 
put my seeds down. Forget how to do it. Too. Look at that. Perfect. And we're out of here. Yeah. So make sure you wait for me. See ya. Ah. Proceed to the route. Then at the roundabout. Shush. So that chair that we got. It was like $130 down to $60 because it was the last one in stock. But we had to walk all the way back through. Oh my gosh, I'm starving now. I only had um, a couple of eggs and some spinach and some avocado for like a brunch. And I haven't eaten since. I'm bloody hungry after all that walking. And that workout I did today as well. Andy's sister is making dinner, so oh, we should be on time too. We weren't too late. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's pouring with rain it is torrential like i'm driving through puddles and puddles of water all right gotta go ah, send help are you okay going through my bag yeah i'm good thank you oh we don't need them <laughs> carefree <laughs> you just chucked my entire bag out what's that makeup oh, you just Broke it! <laughs> wrist guard. It's not a wrist guard. It's for the cable machine at the gym. Sunny. <laughs> Don't. Don't. Your germs. Cooties. Heads or tails. Um, it takes all. Winner takes what? The, Five cents. The contents of my bag back. Yeah, best of three for that part. <laughs> Fine. Your call. Tackles. Four. Heads. Ba bow. Best of three. One nil. Jeez. <laughs> Takes. Ba bow. Best of five. Is it five? Best of five. This is why I'm so good at two up. 50 bucks on heads. I don't have four on heads. <laughs> <laughs> so we're back home. It's a bit dark in here. We're just about to watch some Netflix. I'll probably fall asleep in the first 30 seconds of the movie, but hey, um, my skin's looking really blotchy. I'm really sensitive to heat in the shower, so I blow up. <laughs> Red, but that's okay. We had a lovely dinner. Maddie and his sister cooked some really nice honey soy chicken and salad. And I had some garlic bread as well, which I don't normally have, but it was delicious. And why not? Why not have some garlic bread every now and then? That's what life's about, right? When I first thought about saying like a good night to you guys, I was like, oh, I can't. I have no makeup on. I've blown up like a balloon. Like I'm red and blotchy, but like this is what I look like after a hot shower, after scorching hot a hot shower. You know, I love my lashes and makeup and everything, but I also love getting into bed fresh faced and comfortable in my skin, which has taken a long, long, long time. But I'm getting there. Definitely not perfect, but I am getting there, and that's important to document. I think. But yeah, I had so much fun with Andy and Ikea. It cracks me up. Good, good fun. Alright, I am going now. Good night. <laughs>yeah just gonna head home probably stop and get a coffee on the way home got all my things so exciting but yeah i'm gonna chuck on a podcast grab a coffee on the way and i'll see you at home have a day hello can i get a medium cappuccino with almond milk and two sweetness please anything else oh that's it okay please. just on my card please thank you Yum! I can't wait for coffee. Never used to be a coffee fan. It's only been, I reckon, the last maybe two or three years I've loved coffee. But 
for them. I just, I hated it. Could not, like I love the smell of it, but the taste, oh, I couldn't stand it. But now I'm obsessed, <laughs> love coffee, but it'll never be the tea for me. But you can't have a tea if you're not at home. Tea is such a home drink when you first get in the door. When you have a cup of tea and it just warms your heart. <laughs> but I need a coffee to get me going today. Sure. Thanks so much. Thank you, have a good day. Oh, I hate this bit. It's like a medium strip, so I can't just turn right and get back onto the main road. I've got to go all the way up here, then go find a U-turn bay, then come back. I'm a very patient person, but not on the road. Never, I never go to McDonald's, but I do go for coffee. I literally, I think it's been probably oh, 10 years, at least close to 10 years since I've last had McDonald's and I do not miss it one bit. I can't even stand the smell of it now. It just grosses me out. They do good coffee, so I will go for that. Can't do it without sweeteners. So at home I'll have stevia, but out they often, some places I've found for work, I head to the um, US a lot. And they seem to have stevia in all of their Starbucks and everything. So I love it if they have stevia, but I'm not sure that McDonald's do. So I just stick with sweeteners, which isn't the best I know. I really need to bring some stevia with me. Yep, I should do that. Get some liquid stevia to leave in my car. Close enough, good enough. <laughs> I wanted to chat with you guys as well. I swear most of this bloody video is gonna be in my car. <laughs> Obviously last night when we went to Ikea was like the first time I had filmed out and about and I was so nervous. Like I've mentioned before that I'm such a shy person. I'm always friendly. I'll always be super friendly and super welcoming. Like if anyone's out and I don't know, someone bumps into me, I'll never be standoffish, I'll always sort of be the person to make the other person feel warm and I'll be bubbly in that sense but I'm never one to like control the room or anything so the thought of filming out in public scared the living daylights out of me. Filming in Ikea was not my main goal. It had a bigger goal attached to it so in order to get to that bigger goal I had to go through this smaller goal that was really hella uncomfortable. I just wanted to say like if you guys have got something that you want to do and you know you've got to do a few things that are gonna feel shit let's be honest they're gonna feel really uncomfortable the way I went into it I thought you know what this is gonna be really uncomfortable it's gonna suck you know I'm gonna get weird looks I pre mentally prepared myself for that and just thought this is why this is bigger than all of that so and it was almost like when I did get that first weird look it was like oh was that it? Yes, it was uncomfortable, I'm not gonna lie. But it was, oh my gosh, why are you going so slow? We're in 110 and you're going 80. See, not, not very patient. But it was like that big hurdle that I just built so much anxiety and stress over it had just happened like that. And then I finished my goal and I cannot tell you how empowering that was to stick to my plans. So I think I had that in the back of my head, how I'd feel at the end of the night when I'd done what I said I would do. And I thought, that is more important and I would rather feel like that at the end of this than defeated. So I will go through this short term pain to get to that good place. And it was so worth it. And I think that's a big thing about building your confidence is sticking to your plans and sticking to the things that you say you're gonna do. You know, it builds that. I I think, personally, confidence is all about self-trust. So that's the biggest way you can build self-trust is sticking to what you, you say you're gonna do. And I think a good way to think of that is, you know, like if you say you've got a shift at work and you say you're gonna be there, you'll just go. There's no question because you've said you're gonna be there unless you're sick or something happened. Like for me, it's not even a question. I'll plan my day around it. It's just a non-negotiable. So I'm really starting to try and see my plans like that. So they're just non-negotiable. I just do them. There's no self-doubt or anything. And day by day, I'm getting more confident in that sense because I am sticking to my plans and it feels bloody empowering. 
so just honestly it's gonna feel shit it is I'm not gonna lie to you it's gonna feel really really like oh <laughs> that's the best way I can describe it but the feeling afterwards and the long-term effects is just so much more worth it you know and might not be YouTube might not be filming in public might be something completely completely different might be something even scarier than this but I do think the same principles apply so I'm glad that I took you along that you can probably see how nervous I am and I, I hope that that does come across I, at the start I was like oh gosh I'm gonna look so nervous it's gonna be so cringy but uh, it's important to show that um, so yeah I hope you enjoyed my nervous little IKEA chats <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed this chat and it can inspire you to take on your goals and be strong about approaching them. Alright you guys, I'm about to do an upper body workout, finally, and film it finally. So I'm just in my, ooh, just in my spare room. I think it's 20 minutes plus, 25 minutes plus the one minute break between rounds and the finisher, totally optional. I'd be lying if I said that I was feeling motivated for this. <laughs> I was literally sitting on my couch. I was posting a photo talking about how it's important to put effort into, you know, feeling good and feeling confident every day. Even, I said, even when I'm spooning peanut butter out of the jar, which I literally was posting this nice posed photo, but I was actually spooning peanut butter and I was like I do not want to work out at all I've been training and you know making health a priority for so long now that it's part of my identity in my head I'm just someone that works out and it's part of every single day being active in some way shape or form whether that's walking or whatever but I prioritize that and it's just a case of just doing it you just like I did not want to feel that I did not feel like it but 20 minutes and I know for a fact that I'm gonna feel so much better after it so I'm getting off my butt putting the peanut butter away and I'm gonna do some push-ups. <laughs> but yeah I will pop a um, photo of like a snapshot of my workout here it'll also be on my Instagram and um, my workouts highlight story but other than that let's get it done Okay, so you just want to grab your phone. I'm just going to use the timer on my phone. So basically, you've got two rounds and you do each round twice. There's five exercises in each round. You do each, ah, you do each exercise for 45 seconds with a 15 second break in between. So 20 minutes all up, not including, so there'll be, I'm going to probably have a one minute rest in between rounds. So not including that, and then we've got a finisher, which is really good. I love this finisher. Pop some tunes on. Other than that, let's go. I am a woman, not here to please you. It's time to move on, cause my time is now. I am a woman, play by my own. I like to do this really slow. All right, off we go. Make sure you're pulling. So once you get to here, make sure you really pull from your stomach. Otherwise you can really sink into your lower back and it can start to really hurt. Alright you guys, that was round one done. 
I'm wrecked. So round two is, we've got wide push-ups. So for that one, it's 45 seconds, which is quite a long time for me. I need to work on my upper body strength. So I'm gonna do them on my knees, but another good one is to do them on your toes for as long as you can, and then drop down to your knees if need be. Then, oh, help. These ones I hate. So you're on your side plank on your arm, and you wanna bring your bottom knee to your top elbow. That one canes, and um, this is a bit of fun fun fact for you. My left hand is smaller than my right. So when I go together, my right hand's a lot bigger. So when I'm weight bearing on my left, I find it really difficult because the surface area isn't a, like a strong base. So if I need to take a break on that side, and you see me shaking my hand, that's probably why. Yeah, fun fact. I've got funny veins in my hand too, and I think that has something to do with it. But anyways, that's just me. Another quirk. So yeah, we've got those, then walk out, to a tricep push up, walk back in, and then leg raises. Okay. done maybe after a drink <laughs> round two I'll be back for the finisher next up we've got our finisher so this one is deceiving me and Andy did a few workouts I put him through this and he couldn't even he couldn't finish it so don't and he's got strong arms like he's working as I said he's a tradie so he's using his hands all of the time and he couldn't even finish it so this is a challenge. If you can get through this, if you can get it through without dropping your arms once, comment below and let me know. It's harder than it looks. So it's a, a full song and you're doing arm um, circles, the variations. Yeah, I'll do the whole thing, so feel free to join in with me. Or you can skip through and pop a song on that you like and have a go at all the variations that I do. A full song. Don't drop your arms, ever. It's really good, I promise. Such a good burner to finish off. Let's go. Thank you. 
it's such such a good finisher I love that one burns like anything but so good and we're done 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 done
course it does. Well, if anyone wanted to hack into my old Facebook, all you'd need is Hillary. <laughs> Information on celebrities. <laughs> Pirates and Hillary's home. You are kidding. <laughs> All right, we've come to the end of the vlog. It was a very, very long one, a little bit of everything. I hope you enjoyed it, if you're still here. I think next time I'm gonna try and condense it and just film sort of in sections and split them all up. Uh, it's a few weeks later now. I did film, Andy and I went to Bunnings like that weekend as well. And I did film it, but I lost the footage. All we did was we just got some paints. I've got a green one. It's a really, really pale green for the wall behind you right now, just framing the window. So it's a really pale green and it ties in with the bedside table quite nicely. And then the other color is for the wardrobe, a really matte finish. It's almost like a really pale purpley beige. Purple's probably a bit of a stretch, but I think it'll be really, really nice. And my little handles came, here they are. My little brass, brushed brass handles. That's them, so they'll go on the front of the wardrobe. They're super pretty. Yeah, I just got them from like an Etsy place, I think. They took a while to come, but dead cheap. So yeah, if you're needing handles, I would check out that. Dun dun dun, the stickers are gone. It took me, I was using a chisel. It took me so long. I was, it was a workout. My arms were burning and I was sweating. And Andy was lying on the bed watching me the whole time, hung over. <laughs> and, and then I finished it all. I got the last year craft and he goes, oh, you know, you can actually get them for like 30 bucks, the doors. And I was like, now you tell me. <laughs> I was filthy. But um, yeah, so that's all done. So we'll sand that down and paint it. I think we're just gonna paint it white. I still need to get the white. I'm still deciding on what color I want. So not much has happened since really. Um, we've had a busy few weeks. We went away for a weekend down the farm to a property. Andy's been doing some more work at our family friend's property. It's been kind of slow, but taking it easy and enjoying it. So I don't know what's next. Maybe we might paint some walls. So I'll bring you along then. But I will show you the uh, finished bedside table. This is it. Super cool. I think it'll tie in every, like really nicely with everything. I hope you enjoyed some, some of my DM chats along the way. I really want to make that a big priority in my channel. I talk through my feelings and my little mental hurdles that I go along. That's the main reason why I started this channel. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed them as well. But I am gonna go, I promise. All right, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let's me know if you like these kinds of videos and come along my journey. All right, see you guys. Thank you, bye.